Hello and welcome back to the workbench. This is where we discuss ceiling fan history, trivia, and technical information. And it's where we discuss socket fans. So this is our second socket fan roundup, which is part of our larger series on socket fans, which is part of our larger series called From the Workbench. Uh, if you've been following this series, then you know that the socket fans in our testing and comparison videos are picked by my Patreon supporters. So if you would like to submit one, go to patreon.com slash dspiffy and sign up. Okay, so we have three new ones today, all from Amazon. Let's dig into it. This first one here, the Amazon listing calls it the Bortstract. I'll put the link in the description. It comes in a box that has really no branding information. LED multifunction fan light, 30 watts. I did not pick the pink color. In the Amazon listing, it was all white and or kind of like a white and gray. It's hard to tell. The box shows a gold colored one. This one's pink, so who knows? It is 6,000 Kelvin, allegedly draws 30 watts. Let's just double check that. 26 watts, power factor of 0.57, so that checks. Um, let's measure the fan. It is a three blade fan. And like the others, it appears to be 5.5 inches. I guess that is the standard size. So let's go ahead and see if we can get some measurements. To control it, you power cycle it, just like many of the other ones we've tested. So off, back on. This one's definitely noisy. Let's see if we can get an RPM. Are the blades too clear? Maybe the blades are too clear. I'm not getting any reading at all. RPM doesn't really matter. I don't think anybody's buying these based on the RPM, but I'm a little surprised that I'm not picking up anything. Okay, let's keep moving. Let us see if we can get a CFM reading on it. Highest number I got. 748. So where's my calculator? Okay. So it's 5.5 divided by 24 squared. So that's going to be times itself. This doesn't have a square function. So I'm just doing times 0.23 times pi, 3.14159 times, I think 748 is what I said the highest number was. So it's about 124 CFM. So it seems like all of these 5.5 inch ones have right about the same CFM. So they're all very comparable. Uh, this one costs 30 bucks. The one we ta uh, tested last time, the low loss cost 40, um, about the same lumens. No real difference to speak of. I don't remember if that one was quieter or not. Okay, let's do the next one in the roundup. This is from Amazon. This is the Bikun, B-Y-I-K-U-N. Again, I'll put the link in the description. This is as pictured. In pictured, it had the longer socket. It had the gold grill, and it has a swivel, which is kind of cool. Got a longer down rod as well. This one is also supposed to be 30 watts. They did not specify the color temperature. Uh, it was only 25 bucks, so this is definitely the least expensive other than that little tiny one that I tested last time. Here, I'll show you. I'm not really including this one in the running because it's just kind of a, you know, it's, it's, it's a toy compared to the others. 
Okay, let's see. 25 watts. Let's power cycle it. Interesting thing about this one is that there's a bit of a delay before it powers on. And this one is definitely quieter than the first one we tested. Let's see if we can get an RPM reading on this one. Oh yeah, this one's easily giving me a reading. I believe it's a five blade fan. Let me just double check, make sure I'm not remembering wrong and I'll measure it while I'm there. Yep, it is a five blade fan. It is 5.5 inches like the rest of them. So that one is going 1440 RPM. So that's pretty fast. Okay. Power cycle it again. The delay is a little weird. It's just for the fan, not the light. Interesting. It is quieter than the last one, but definitely less powerful. Let's see how that stacks up in terms of numbers. It is 104 CFM, so it is noticeably less powerful. I'll be honest, I don't even get... gonna get fan and light. The delay makes it hard too. How do I get fan and light? There we go. Yeah, other than the little tiny one I just pulled out, this is the least powerful. All the other ones we've tested are at least 120 CFM. It's too bad. It's quieter. So I, and I like the swivel. I like the little down rod. Um, so I wanted to recommend this one. It's inexpensive. Um, but it's not, it's, it's not the best performer. And uh, it is kind of, the little delay makes it kind of confusing to figure out when you're power cycling. So here's the one I'm excited about. This one is by Yao Ten. And look at that. It has an exposed blade. And it is described as an oscillating fan. So let's see what they mean by that. First of all, when it immediately powers on, it powers on to, I believe, neutral white, like 35. It has a remote. So on the one hand, you know I'd prefer a simple power cycle option um, so that uh, so that you, if I lose the remote, I'm not screwed. But there's you can get a lot more features with the remote. Warm white, neutral white, and it just calls this white, but power the light on and off. We can dim the light. We can, ooh, we can fade between the color temperatures. That's pretty useful. Okay, if I hit fan. There's also three fan buttons. I'm assuming that's low. Yep. Medium and high. There's also a one hour, a two hour, and a four hour button, which I assume is a fan timer to shut the fan off. Let's also see 
what power cycling it does. Just fan. Light and fan with just light. So you can also control this one for power cycle. Okay, that's a win. I wish it would remember my preferred color temperature because when I power cycle it, I think it just de it defaults to the cool white or daylight. Yeah. I love that it. I don't even. I don't even call that oscillating. I would call that. Uh, I don't. It's almost. It's more similar to a to a gyro fan or. I mean, it spins in a circle. Fan rattling, or is it something on my workbench rattling? Something's rattling, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blame the fan just yet. There might be something else on the workbench. Okay, let's see if we can get a good reading on this one. It's clear blades again, so. Maybe, maybe not. No, we got a good reading. I'm only going to bother with high for the ratings, I think. So it's 1320 RPM. That's powered off so I can... It looks bigger than the 5.5s. Five I do wish, I will say this, I do wish, it's funny, these are all advertised as 10-inch fans, but they're literally talking about the width of the entire thing. Yeah, this is 7.5. Just curious. Yeah, 7.5. I wish there was a way to center it, so it could just blow straight down instead of only the rotating function, but the rotating function is pretty cool. Okay. Twelve? No. It's very hard to measure. It keeps moving. Ten forty three is the highest I got. So, Okay, so this is about 320 CFM. So it's almost three times the amount of the ones with the fan inside, but it's still a far cry from these. And uh, I want to try something because that rattle is bothering me. I want to try. Oh, no, something in here is loose. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of it. Okay, well, it doesn't do it when it's hanging correctly. So it's, it must just be because of it being upside down. So we won't, we won't penalize it for that because... Uh, it's not designed to be mounted in this way. So, 0.17 amps, 13 watts. Power factor of 0.62. On the lowest fan speed, it is 
5.11 amps. 9 watts. Did I measure the uh, wattage of the light? It's rated at 48 watts. It's well under that. It's only 32. And I believe, well, let's try all the color temperatures. Yeah, it is the same wattage at all color temperatures. That's with the fan. Let's turn the light off. Yeah, it's only 13 watts. So interesting that it's rated at 48 watts. Excuse me, 19 watts. I was mixing up the fan and the light. The light is 19 watts, which is still well under the 48. Um, so we 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 don't have a lumen rating for this. Um, just going by wattage, it is more than the Bell and Howell, and less than the rest of them. So there really does seem to be a theme. The more light you get, the less air you get. So you can either have mostly fan with a little bit of light, and, or we have the fight from the last time. Do I have that box nearby? I do. Mostly light with a little bit of fan and the various other ones in the middle. But this is probably the best middle ground. Um, because honestly, the rest of them kind of suck a little bit. The lights are not that impressive. I liked the one that I tested last time where you could, uh, well, that's the fight one. Yeah. I liked where you could switch the color temperature, but you couldn't get a middle color temperature. This one you got, and you can... Go between them. So this is this is definitely the best of all worlds. If you need a lot of light and air. This is also the most expensive out of everything, including this, including the fight, including everything. This was $65. Um, and it shipped in from China. It is not uh, sold domestically. Um... So, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm compounding what I said last time. If your main goal is to have a fan with a functional light, then I would go with the Bell and Howell. And that's still, honestly, my favorite. I think this is pretty close, if nothing else, for the cool factor, the fact that it spins in a circle. That's really cool. And despite the fact that the blades are kind of below the light, there's not that much of a strobing effect, it's got... Visible blades, which is one of my biggest beefs to the other ones. You don't even notice there's a fan in there. It's not the worst air mover. It's definitely not um, as much of an air mover as these. But it's, uh, it's better than the little, you know, vintage socket fans. And it's better than all the ones with the fan blade hidden inside. Um, is it $65? Cool, I guess. I mean, all the ones... That I really think are worth... So basically, it comes down to this. If you want something and you don't want to spend a lot of money, then, yeah, these various different Amazon ones are six of one, half dozen of another. If I have to recommend one, I would probably recommend the low last we tested last time. I think that was just overall... Um, it wasn't that different from this one, but I don't remember it being quite as noisy as that one. Um, but yeah, they're all pretty similar. So if you, if you want to, and that one was uh, forty bucks. So yeah, if you're if you're not trying to spend very much, you know, just get get whatever. But no, you're not getting the best. If you want to get your money's worth and get the most out of the function, it comes down to: Do you want the most fan? Do you want the most? I guess I should leave this up here if it's going to be in the running. Do you want the most light? 
it's in frame enough. Let's, we can. Do you want the most light, or do you want a fair amount of fan, a fair amount of light, but not as much of either? But again, the other advantage of this one that neither of these has is that you can get a selectable color temperature. This, you have two options and that's it. And it's, you know, on a switch on top of it. You basically set it and forget it. <clears throat> this, you can adjust the color temperature from the remote. And, um, I mean, that's, that's incredibly cool. Unlike the Bell and Howell, if you lose the remote, you can still use it. Although you can't set the color temperature anymore. It's an orbital fan is what it is. The other thing is I don't have a way to measure um, color rendering, but just to my eyes, the fight is uh, head and shoulders above the others when it comes to CRI. Does it even have a CRI on here? It might. The other ones, I'm sure, don't. No. No CRI on this one either. So, I'm just based on my, my best guess and intuition, the color rendering on that is superior but on the other hand like i said you're you're stuck with uh, uh 3000 or is it 5000 yeah 3000 or 5000 and it's not dimmable whereas these two are both dimmable so again me personally i wouldn't bother with the fight and i think when we're done with this series of videos it's going back to menards cuz i don't need a bright led um but having a fan with a little bit of led is useful um, so yeah, in, in between, for me, it would be between these two. And what it comes down to is, do I want a better performing fan that looks like a fan versus, uh, more light options is what we'll say. Now, the other thing I'm going to do real quick, I think these also are going to be different in terms of space. And I'm not actually going to... I don't know. Okay, so that remembered that time, which is interesting. Is it still in frame? Yes. So, is this going to... I don't have the remote to this handy, so uh, I'm just literally putting this here just for reference sake. So, this has a much slimmer profile. So if you've seen my video where we have them mounted at the barn, this one, the orbital one, wouldn't fit because it, it hangs down more. And you could argue, well, in some cases it needs to hang down more because of, you know, recessed lights and that, but this has got a fatter housing too. It wouldn't fit up inside a recessed light. You'd still need to use a socket extender, which this one doesn't come with. Of course, you can buy them on Amazon cheap. Um... But this is this has a shallower clearance, so this will fit. Like if you got to clear a door, you know, if you got lower ceilings and you're worried about clearance, this will fit more places. Other than the fact, of course, that it's wider. This one's about 16 inches total, and this one, if we believe the hype, this one's 10 inches. Let's measure. It looks a little bigger, but let's just see. It's about 10 and a half. Okay. Well, I think I've covered everything that I can think of to cover. This is still my favorite. This is my second favorite and I think really cool. Um, I wouldn't mind if they made something like that without the LED either. Just a fan. Like, that'd be the closest to the old school socket fan. So, 
in my next installment, there were a few different companies selling these. And I ordered all of them. Or at least I ordered all that I could find. Because I want to see if there are any differences or if it's literally the exact same fan that people are just putting different labels on, selling under different, you know. Um, I have a feeling that they're all going to be the same. Um, but I could be wrong. So we will see when those show up. That will be my next installment. If anybody on Patreon suggests any more options, then we will have yet another installment. If not, then that one will be the final installment. Um, or if companies come out with more options and I happen to see them, I'll be happy to include those too. In the meantime, I definitely like the Bell and Howell. I definitely like this one. Um, this one is the Yao Ten. Um, and I'll put all the links in the description. So there you have it. As always, I want to thank our sponsors, Fanstick, Lightstick, uh, Ricker Sheep, and so on and so forth. Um, please visit uh, buyfanstick.com, fanstick.biz, lightstick.biz, um, buyfanstickxxx.com, rickersheep.com, and of course, patreon.com slash dspiffy. As always, thanks for watching, and buy fanstick.